Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Amplitude with Attitude by Vandana. So, we are dealing matter in our surroundings and this is the part 3 of matter in our surroundings. I have already told you so many things about matter in our surroundings in my part 1 and part 2. Basically, what is matter? Matter is made up of small particles. They are continuously moving everything. And in the description box, you can find the link for part 1 and part 2. Now, I'm going to continue the topic with part 3. That is, inter-particle forces of attraction. How basically the particles are packed in matter. In my earlier video, I have already told you that there are three physical states of matter, solid, liquid and gases. I am just going to tell you the pattern of packing of particles in these states of matter. First come to solid state. In solid states, the particle of matter are quite closely packed. The gap between them is very less that is 10 raised to the power minus 10 meter that is one angstrom also. So the particles are quite closely packed so they are rigid they have high density right. So the particles are closely packed that's why forces of attraction will be more and they can't move means like that they are sitting like this. Basically what they can do they can do rotational motion like that okay. So in solid states particles can't move they are rigid they have high densities and basically solids are also of two types one is amorphous and one is crystalline in crystalline solids crystal kind of thing you can find you will study about this in higher classes and uh, if you want i can make the video of that also amorphous and crystalline solid so basically where we were we were like uh, crystalline solids so in crystalline solids the small particles are also called as lithides and like that so there is strong forces of attraction they are rigid they have high densities and uh, since they can't move they have just rotational motion now come to liquid state. In liquid state, the inter-particle forces of attraction are weaker compared to solid and inter-particle distance are more as compared to solids like 10 raised to the power minus 10 if in case of solids that is inter-particle distance here it will be 10 raised to the power minus 6 or 10 raised to the power minus 7 meters right so they can flow like this that's why liquids are also called as fluids so many of us have this misconception that only gases are called as fluids no fluids is anything that can flow that is called as fluid so liquid and gases both will be considered as fluids as i have told you in the solid state the particles have only rotational motion they can move from in their mean position means they are sitting and they can move like this rotate kind of thing now in case of liquid they have rotational motion already because that is there then they have translational motion and they have vibrational motion means they can move more freely means like that now the gas is a state of matter in gas is a state of matter the interparticle distance is quite large and interparticle forces of attraction are quite weak so the particles are free to move they have rotational they have vibrational they have translational motion and they fill up the space wherever they are provided means if there are particles they fill the whole area they want to be independent one wants to be at one corner and other wants to be the, at the other corner of the room if there are two particles if there are three particles they also want maximum space to occupy so whenever we put a gas in any container or any room they occupy the whole area this i can explain you with one example when you used to go to school before covid or it was a pre-covid era and you used to sit in your classroom and teacher is sitting just in front of you and you are on the first bench what you used to do you can't move your even your head means you were solid if you are sitting on the second or third or maybe at the fourth bench then what you can do you can rotate like this then transfer your books copies pen pencils to your friends means like you are liquids and if you are sitting at the last bench what you can do you can move from one position to another then you are gases or basically if you have got one punishment and you are outside the classroom then you have become gas 
so this is the simplest way to understand solids fixed at a particular position liquids can move but they have a fixed volume means they have to there in the classroom and if you have been given punishment now you have become gas means you can move from any anywhere to means you can move freely right okay now one by one i am going to explain you the properties of solids then liquids and then gases properties of solid states solids have a definite shape and distinct boundaries in case of solids intermolecular forces of attraction are quite large or quite strong and interparticle distance is small that's why solids have a fixed shape right you might be thinking that when we keep salt and sugar in a container they take the shape of that container means they don't have a definite shape and they don't have distinct boundaries no it's not like that we as a whole we are taking the salt and sugar means there are so many particles in that salt and sugar when they occupy that space they seem like that but when you take and one individual particle of that salt and sugar you will find it has not changed its shape means they have definite shape and distinct boundaries this is the first property of solid means solids have definite shape and they have distinct boundaries this is because of interparticle forces of attraction property is solids possess rigidity means they are rigid their shape is fixed it's quite difficult to change the shape this is due to interparticle forces of attraction basically interparticle forces of attraction are quite strong that's why it's not possible to break a solid means basically they are rigid for example if you take a rubber band also if you try to pull it like this its shape will change but after some time when you keep it at rest that part that rubber band will also have its original shape that's why steel and everything they we can make many Any shapes with that, and again we can change that shape. In case of gold, also you make ornaments, and again that goldsmith, what he does, actually he changes that shape to some other thing. So basically, they are rigid. This is due to interparticle forces of attraction. Third property is that solids have a definite volume, means their volume is fixed. solids have a definite volume is their volumes are fixed they can't be compressed even in case of sponge if you try to compress why that is getting compressed because there are air holes in that air holes air is packed and when you compress it that air comes out and due to this it is possible to compress it but when you take any other solid they where there is no air gaps or nothing like that then it's not possible for you to compress means basically the solids have a definite volume fourth property is that solids do not possess the property of diffusion diffusion is intermixing of particles since the particles are fixed at one place how they can intermix but there are certain things for example if you write something in the blackboard and after some time you try to rub it it's quite difficult to rub it this is because that diffusion has taken place so basically solids have four properties as i have told you now come to the liquids the properties of liquids first property of liquids liquids don't have a fixed shape but they have a definite or fixed volume means they take the shape of the container as you know there are interparticle distance means the distance is more as compared to solids that's why they don't have a fixed shape but they have a fixed volume means whenever you go to the market you want 1 liter of milk or you want 1 liter of water what is that liter liter is the unit of volume so liquids have a fixed volume but they don't have a fixed shape second property of liquids is that liquids are not rigid but they are fluid they have the property of fluidity means they can move as you might have seen water flowing right in the rivers in floods also they move everywhere everything like that the third property is that liquids possess the property of diffusion okay these are the three properties liquids do not have a fixed shape but they have a fixed volume they are fluid and the third property is that liquids possess the property of diffusion means intermixing of particles okay now diffusion 
diffusion is basically intermixing of particles so this intermixing of particles can take between solids and liquids uh, liquids and liquids and liquids and gases solid and liquid example can be like that copper sulfate and water or potassium permanganate and water as i have already told you in my earlier video then uh, liquid and liquid is like alcohol and water that is there um, then gases in liquid is like oxygen dissolved in water due to which aquatic animals can breathe these are the examples of diffusion in liquids now come to the gaseous state gases neither have a definite shape nor a definite volume right so the first property of gases is that they neither have a definite shape nor a definite volume you can see as we are also somewhere surrounded by gases but they don't have a definite shape nor definite volume gases are not at all rigid they are highly fluid means they are moving like this that free board they are moving from anywhere to anywhere right they are highly compressible means you can compress them when by putting lot of pressure you can compress as you might have seen cng which is used as a fuel in many of the vehicles right so these are the properties of gases they don't have a fixed shape and volume they are not at all rigid but are highly fluid and they are highly compressible okay the next property is that gases have very low density what is density density is mass per unit volume or mass divided by volume is called as density so the si unit of density is kg upon meter cube or you can say kg m minus 3 right so gases have very low density the kinetic energy of particles of gases are very high kinetic energy is basically the energy due to which a particle can move so the gases can move all around it's from one place to another as their kinetic energy is very high gases exert pressure means gases exert pressure on the walls of the container wherever they are put so you might have felt that they exert a lot of pressure when wind is blowing and your windows are banging like that okay then the last property is that gases diffuse very rapidly means uh, anything whichever is gas that fragrance is circulated throughout the room so basically these are the properties of gases today i have told you about the properties of solid state the liquid state and the gases state this is all for today hope you like this video if you liked it please don't forget to press the like button subscribe the channel and share the video to your friends thank you for watching take care